So here we are at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida, just off of Orange Blossom Trail. We've been wanting to come here for, uh, well, actually since we moved back to Florida in 2011, so here we are. We don't live too far from here. So you can see the parking lot's not too full. And uh, we're about to go in. Here we have a nice size gator right out front. It's pretty big. Pretty cool. Oh, hey, I know those two. Pretty cool place here. Again, never been here before. Cow can. What? I'll feed the gators. You're gonna feed you. You're gonna feed you. Just lay down. <laughs> so you now walk so in. Oh, wow. oh, it's not like gators. Oh, it's not like You must have a good night. Yep. Feeding time coming up. And you guys can feed any of the two to four year olds and the three Whoa. to five year olds over here. When you guys are done with the poles, you can bring them to the counter next to me. Just careful not to swing the fish around or drag them on the ground there. because they are pretty delicate. You yeah, had never been here before, so. Pretty cool. Two to four years old. Yeah. So all these little guys right here are two to four years old. Happy. Probably well fed. So we got foot longs. Yeah. No bun though. We're not eating the bun. They're going to be removed for keto purposes. Like yeah, I said, the keto is not very keto friendly. So the parking lot's kind of close. So if you wanted to bring your a cooler or something, I'm sure you could bring it inside. Pretty excited. <laughs> Try this again. I know you. May do this in your spare time, it's kind of boring, I know. Here we go, take two. Just for you guys, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Talk about an alligator's dental plan I want to touch on because alligators are somewhat like sharks in the fact that they regrow teeth their whole life. In fact, alligators have 80 teeth in their mouth at once and they'll regrow about two to 4,000 in an entire lifetime. What's the lifetime of an alligator, you may wonder? In captivity, alligators live up to 80 years old, as old as people. So these teeth will break off when they're eating, when they're fighting, when they just, ooh. You okay? Oh, I'm okay. I just peed a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on. Now, alligators have a tremendous amount of jaw pressure. It's all meant to bite down. You heard that jaw slam right there. 
In fact, when you guys walk around the park at the base of an alligator skull, what looks like a fat neck, that is actually where their jaw muscle is located. At this size, Boudreaux, the alligator's jaw pressure is right around 1,000 PSI. When they get bigger, it's much stronger, but it's all meant to bite down, none to open. If the alligator sits in one spot, we keep the mouth secure with one hand. Come to find out, it takes less pressure than one hand to keep the jaw secure. I'm gonna show you that right now in the dumbest way possible, so y'all check this out. It's like the famous last words of a redneck right there. Hi y'all, check this out. Yeah, hold the beer. And my baby. You pass off the beer before your baby? Yeah. I don't know how to make another beer. <laughs> you get it. Sorry, kids. You guys can laugh if it's Saturday. It's cool. You're not at work. All right. We are. Yeah, we are. You <laughs> see, some people said alligators open with the top jaw and crocodiles open with the bottom jaw, and vice versa. It is the bottom jaw that opens up both these animals, just like you and me. And Gatorland's got the most insane way to show you guys. It's the bottom jaw. So at this point in the show, if you guys got a camera, get it ready. If this works, it's going to make one heck of a snapshot. If you got a camera, get it ready anyway, because if this goes horribly wrong, it's going to make a better snapshot. Thanks. <laughs> He's right. And if you guys can't see, just jump to a corner. I'm only going to do this once. And it's the alligator show, so he wants to be here. Release the bottom jaw. It's going to stimulate the snout, causing it to open up further. There it goes. It's still going. And that, my friend, is wide open. All right, get your pictures, everybody. Christian, smile. Come on, you're going to be on Instagram. Nice. You look constipated, but it'll work. Hands back. They're changing filters for the Instagram. Okay. We did it. We're in the back of Gatorland, and they have a swamp walk, which is pretty cool. Some pretty tall trees. It's pretty cool, pretty relaxing back here, pretty quiet. He's not gonna eat the bird, the bird just swung. No, he's like, get up out of the way. He's not gonna get up there, you guys are fine, okay? Yeah, just stand still. They know it's feeding time, I bet.
He's just letting him pet him, look. <laughs> Kyle's new friend. That's kind of sweet because most of them are kind of just greedy. That's all they got though, to feed is... Tower. Give you a rough idea of what it looks like here. Wow. Just a little higher there, those are the zip lines. And check this out. Gator Beach. <laughs> I like to see them coast with their little legs just dragging along behind them. Moves his tail to swim. That's crazy. That's nice. quieter than it is down below. See you later alligator. So that'll do it from Gatorland. We're done. We Don't got goodies. That's right, we did. Got a cup, got some photos. It's and a great now we're time. Hungry again. So we're about to go eat at Ruby Tuesdays. We'll so, show you what we eat there too. They got uh, an awesome salad bar, so it's perfect for me. <laughs> so we'll see you there. Say Bye. goodbye to Gatorland. I, we highly recommend it. A lot of fun. So much fun. See ya. Did I get it? You're perfectly holding. Weird people walking into Ruby Tuesdays, but we're here at Ruby Tuesdays in Orlando. I want the pasta.